good afternoon everybody yeah uh, i am ajoy palit along with me mr pavitra parida uh, we are actually representing aditya aluminum a unit of hindalco industries limited we are uh, thankful to the gss organizing committee for giving us this opportunity to come here and uh, share uh, the safety journey towards uh, zero harm this is the uh, uh, vision mission and purpose of our company to deliver superior value to our internal and external customers and other stakeholders to be a premier primary aluminum producer with clear focus on profit people and planet and the purpose we manufacture materials that make the world greener stronger and smarter at aditya uh, the um, technology provider is rio tinto alcan pesini in short it is uh, ap technology and this is the best technology available in aluminum smelting and in india the hindalco industries limit, uh, limited has got two units and both the units are operated with dac technology <coughs> Aditya and Mahan. This is our. Uh, I mean, our location is strategic, uh, strategically. Uh, unit is strategically located. It is uh, uh, the vicinity towards raw materials and the logistic support. Uh, uh, the water reservoir is there besides our uh, unit. The railway um, siding is just besides our uh, unit. We are connected to the state highway, and the, uh, we are also connected to the airport. so uh, logistically it is the uh, a very suitable uh, location this is the overall layout of our uh, unit the total unit area is uh, 3300 acres and our smelter and the captive power plant are situated just alongside this is the bird's eye view of our unit uh, the, the smelter the aditya aluminum smelter about uh, our smelter the smelter uh, capacity is 3 lakh 60000 tons per year and the technology as i told it is rio tinto uh, alcan technology the first metal uh, production started in january 2014 and the 360th port startup was in march 2016 uh, the captive power plant we have got uh, six units of 150 megawatt each the technology provider is bell and uh, here the first unit came in 2000 Uh, 13 and the last unit was commissioned in 2016 december these are our products we produce primary aluminum uh, among the in the primary aluminum we produce 23 kg ingots and 450 kg ingots and uh, we produce uh, primary foundry alloys which are actually of 10 kg ingots and these are uh, supplied to alloy wheel manufacturing industries which are used in automobiles and uh, we uh, the another product is anodes we use anodes for our own smelter and also we uh, give it to our sister concern uh, for their production these are our uh, elite customers we value customers and we have a practice of regular customer visits by our elite customers during their customer visits they carry out uh, various process audits and those process audits are taken as inputs for improvement of our quality we have a uh, practice of capturing the voice of cap uh, customers <coughs> these are the major milestones of our uh, unit the consent to establish was achieved uh, in 2004 and the first metal was out in january 2014 we uh, um, are certified with energy management of uh, 50001 45001 and uh, iso 9001 certifications our quality lab is accredited with nabl certification and uh, we are also iitf certification which is required for uh, the automobile industry since we are also producing uh, inputs for the automobile industry <coughs> now coming to safety what we practice this is the uh, view vision of our chairman sri uh, kumar mangalam billa the purpose of every generation should be to make this world a safe and better place for the next generation 
And in line with that, we have our safety policy, which is a zero harm policy, which has been signed by our MD, Mr. Satish Pai. <coughs> this is the integrated co uh, uh, committee structure, which we follow in our uh, uh, industry. The, the, we have got an Apex Safety Board, which is chaired by our ch uh, MD. <coughs> Under the um, Apex Safety Board, we have got our Unit Safety Board, which is chaired by our unit head. <coughs> Under the unit, uh, the safety board, we have got six subcommittees. Uh, we have got Standard Implementation Subcommittee, Safety Audit Assurance Subcommittee, Incident Investigation Subcommittee, Behavior Based Safety Subcommittee, Safety Training Subcommittee, and Contractor Safety Management Subcommittee. All these committee subcommittees are headed by line functions who, who are all direct reportees of UNITED. <coughs> Under the state safety standard implementation subcommittee, we have got 13 number of task forces. And all these task forces are again headed by different line functions who are all individual department heads. <coughs> these are the subcommittee uh, committees and their chairman. Uh, the, uh, this is our uh, unit head. Under unit head, uh, there are six subcommittees. And each of these uh, um, uh, subcommittee chairmen are all line function persons who are all directly reporting to UNITED. Me, being a line function, uh, I am the chairman of the Behavioral Based Safety Observation Committee of our unit. <coughs> These are uh, 13 task forces. Each of the task forces, there are road safety task forces, electrical task forces, hot work task forces, confined space task forces. So accordingly, we have got 12 task forces along with the 13th one is <coughs> the of the job uh, safety task force who uh, are looking up beyond the uh, factories. So these all uh, so task forces are again led by all department heads who are, who are all the line function persons. <coughs> and no, none of the safety uh, team are there uh, in these, uh, who are heading these uh, task forces. <coughs> what we practice, <coughs> training, program, as we all know, is, is the, uh, the most important focused area uh, for safety. So among, others, uh, uh, among other things, we uh, do have the training through simulators and virtual reality and uh, we, uh, I, AI uh, are, uh, modules, which we use for imparting trainings. Management leadership is something which has to be demonstrated in the shop floor. Among other things, we have regular safety management walkdowns where our senior leadership team, they are uh, involved in the uh, walkdowns and that is uh, scheduled uh, in the uh, uh, weekly schedules are made and those management walkdowns are uh, uh, taken and uh, have got the recommendations and we also track the uh, compliance status of the recommendations of each and every management walkdown. We have got a strong review mechanism. The review mechanism has got different levels. It, it is reviewed at different levels. The first review takes place uh, with, uh, cl I mean, plant heads and then unit head and then cluster head reviews are also taken for any safety recommendations and compliance status. We have got our hazard management system where everything is online. We capture our near misses, uh, uh, potential incidents, and behavioral based safety observations in an um, online enabling system. And we have also got CCTV, which uh, and a drone surveillance system is also uh, there. Under accident in incident management system, we conduct the accident incident investigation through Taproot software. And also, we have initiated a new practice of incident analysis where the at-risk behaviors are also being identified. And we are uh, having the action plan to address those at-risk behaviors also. And under employee participation, where we are having various uh, programs where employee participation is, uh, uh, I, mean, and, uh, I mean, taken care of. We have got our emergency preparedness plan, which is uh, um, uh, approved by directors of factories and boilers. And uh, we have got both on-site and off-site uh, emergency um, preparedness. And we also conduct mock drills. The performance monitoring system, we have got a strong performance monitoring system. And the legal compliances are all uh, through, done through 
ऑनलाइन पोर्टल द मंथ बिगिन्स विथ ए सुरक्षा संकल्प समारोह वेयर इट इज ए मास मीटिंग वेयर ऑल द सीनियर लीडरशिप टीम इज एवर प्रेजेंट एंड दे गिव वेरियस पेपटॉक्स ऑन सेफ्टी एंड ऑन ए पर्टिकुलर मंथ वी सेलिब्रेट डिफरेंट थीम्स सो ऑन दोज पर्टिकुलर थीम वी ऑल्सो हैव नुक्कड़ प्ले आर प्लेड देयर एंड वेरियस रिकॉग्निशंस एंड रिवार्ड्स आर ऑल्सो गिवन ऑन दैट ऑकेजन Uh, based on the performance of uh, there also we include the contract workmen and our own employees both of them are rewarded on the safety performances digitalization as we all know this is the way of life today and we take the support of digitalization uh, for uh, safety we, i i will be sharing a small video which where uh, it will be um, i mean i will be showcasing what we are doing Uh, this is something uh, for the critical height work monitoring we use the drones <coughs> for confined space uh, activities also we uh, use the we take support of digitalization for uh, monitoring those activities our permit system is completely e permit system uh, and it is completely uh, implemented where uh, tabs are also issued to each and every uh, performing authority and uh, um, uh, approving authority so that they can go to the spot take the uh, photographs <coughs> and do the necessary um, on the uh, approvals and uh, checkings on the spot this is a glimpse of our, uh, the virtual reality uh, module which we use for the training purposes this is this is uh, our major production center the pot room so uh, through this virtual reality uh, modules we are imparting training to the freshers similar modules we have got for other uh, <coughs> areas also this is one of the simulator which we are uh, utilizing for the training uh, to for the critical equipments which we are um, i mean uh, before the operation of the uh, equipments the person is given training on those simulator for operation of those critical equipments as as well as we have also got um, simulators for cpp uh, operational control room that that also we have got a complete simulator <coughs> as i already have told that we practice of the job safety and we also believe that safety is not within the plant only it is beyond that also so this of the job safety task force which is named as safety 360 degree they take care of the training and um awareness uh, for the colony people colony housewives children and other stakeholders <coughs> this is a glimpse of the mock drill which we carry out uh, off site mock drill and also on site mock drill where the our buddy uh, um, uh, the safety officers of our nearby industries are also called and experts from the nearby industries are also called and this is done in presence of statutory authorities <clears throat> under green initiative uh, indal uh, hindalco being the uh, major aluminum uh, producer we are taking steps in uh, uh, i mean um, the you um, in, in increasing the use of aluminum in ver various fields one of the initiative was all aluminum bulker which was built by hindalco and was uh, flagged up by our um, md and very recently we have also um, hindalco has built all aluminum rake and which was uh, flagged up by honorable uh, minister sri ashwin uh, vashnav on 16th october from bhubaneswar and uh, these uh, are all our green initiative which we are taking uh, as a way forward and this is uh, under uh, green uh, initiative we have uh, installed a 30 megawatt uh, pa solar power plant <coughs> which is the usp of this solar power plant is the first uh, solar plant in world to be directly integrated with a smelter uh, this is so that is the beauty of this power plant it is directly integrated and it is integrated to our power plant so that's it uh, just before concluding i would like to uh, show you a small video <coughs> 